what are we doing today? We are gonna mess around with this pedal board I got. I wanna know if the $200 pedal board is gonna be good enough for someone like me to do like live streaming, to play some guitars. We're gonna put it to the test to hear what does the pedal board sound like. So this is what I got. So this is a Donner Arena 2000 multi effects pedal board. Donner Music, they wanna know how good their stuff is. So they're sending me another thing to say, Herman, I wanna know what you think about this pedal. So on the box, it says it's a European Product Design Award winner. It's obviously the power, there's MIDI in, there's input for the guitar, there's a left and right output. There's a expression two, expression pedal two. You can put an external expression pedal board. If this is too small for your feet, I guess you can get a bigger one. It goes aux in so you can play your music through it. You've got headphones, jack, you've got USB type C output. So probably some kind of software manipulation you can do with this. And of course, obviously XLR, you can use that for the interface. Ground lift button, very important. If you get a buzz, you use the ground lift to hopefully take the noise away. Okay, I'm gonna plug this in. This is, I haven't made any changes to the sound, so this is like right out of the box right now. Oh, all right. Okay, change sound. that all these are really kind of classic sound I guess it's starting off um, with classic sound and you can actually hear I haven't messed around with any gates or anything this is just the way it is so $270 this is actual price right now me speaking it's actually not a bad sounding thing right now and this is the amp modeling stuff, and I believe they got some. We're talking about Mesa Boogie. We got like some Bogner stuff in there, some Sodano, a mix of stuff. We got some wacky stuff. Some pitch shifting. So we got some cool stuff here. Drums? How does this drums work? It's cool. Tap tempo it. Armello, 240. Okay. Okay, let's build the sound now. Compression, do I need it? No. I'm going to turn it off. But I believe this is a modeling amp, so it's got a bunch of model stuff. Yeah. To be honest, it sounds pretty good. I'm gonna stick with this sound. So I'm gonna turn the gain up first. got here okay got it's got some IR slots here wow impulse response slots there's a bunch of them here that is crazy you can change the mics to to SM57 I'm gonna leave it as a default for now Look at this stuff online, you go ask $250, ah, it's garbage. It's not gonna sound good. And I guess I'm wrong. 
One thing is missing here is the presence. I wish you had the presence to push some of the high frequencies down. So you have to go into the EQ here to turn the high frequency down. Not now it's better. Unbelievable, you can buy this kind of technology now for like $250, that kind of range. We're testing a professional grade top of the range guitar here. This is my old signature guitar. And this is like a $3,000 guitar, right? We got to take something a bit more in this price range to test. Okay, how does it sound now? If I got $1,000 to buy a budget system, a guitar, a pedal, actually, I don't even need $1,000, $500. You know what I mean? This is much more than you can actually handle if you just started playing the guitar. So this is a great deal, actually. And I'll be honest with you, look, does this feel as good as the other guitar? No, it doesn't. Just the pickups on that guitar, on my old signature guitar, you can buy two of these with just the guitar pickups. Obviously, there's no comparison, the cost. For um, a starter guitar, for budget, if you're budget minded, you don't want to spend that much money on something. This is a, a good deal. I don't know what more to say about this pedal. For $250 range, this is a really, really good pedal. Something like this under three hundred dollars. That is just quite insane, and it sounds good. You know, they have a lot of sounds, lots of effects. From what I can get out of this guitar, I am happy. Whammy pedal. So you got the pitch shifter on there. You can also put wah wah in there. I assume. And go. Oh, even spill over. So this is a really cool thing. So I'm going to play a lead and then I'm going to switch into a rhythm and then stop playing. I should hear the delay from the previous patch spilling over to the next patch to create a continuous sound with no dropout on the guitar. Here we go. You see, it still carries on the delay sound from the previous sound. That is very important. So in case you're playing a lead and you're going to go into rhythm, you want the solo to, you know, the delay sound to continuously follow, follow through while you get into the next chord. Yeah. So I'll show you again how it works. I go into the next patch and the sound keeps going right into the next patch. They got it right this time, again. And 
as much fun as it was to play the Donna guitar because it's an affordable guitar. We shred the hell out of it. It's going to be more fun. It's going to sound better on this guitar. So let's say you have a high-end guitar and you don't have, or you don't want to take your big rack and your expensive camper or neuro DSP with you on vacation holiday. Maybe one of these is going to be okay. I was fun playing this thing. So, you know, this is my conclusion in the end. This Donna Arena 2000 pedal is way better than how much it cost. <laughs> um, I gotta give a thumbs up to Donna, man. They're doing very affordable gear that sounds good and play good and work well. Is this the best pedal board I've ever played? No, it's not. Is it better than we talk about the Neural DSP Quad Cortex? No, it's obviously not. Is it better than Camper? No. Is it better than Axe Effects? No. It hasn't got the same power as those devices, which are like the top best professional rack multi effects guitar processor. But this thing is still really good because most people don't don't even use um, all the capability of those um, professional gear. It's really good for anyone that wants them. Um, just a, you know, affordable, good sounding pedal. And you got a lot of effects you can play with. Playing guitar, electric guitar is also understanding how to use the effects, how to use the delays. And this comes with the delays, the reverb, all the different choruses, pitch shifting. So you can like basically, wow, wow, you can basically learn how to use all those effects at the same time without having to buy a million little pedals and put it together. <laughs> You want to hear the difference between my sound and this sound? We're going to do it. I'm playing a lot more money for my, my sound. We talk about years of perfecting my tone versus something I just dialed in. This is the camper. This is my normal stage sound. You can hear it's actually a much darker compared to this set. I did this setup I did here. Alright, that was fun. That was fun messing around with that pedal. 
How surprising, actually. But we got some. We got it working. Fun little toy. God, I got too much toys here. I'm spoiled. All right, you guys, take care. Have a great one. See you on the next stream. Okay. Ciao. Signing out. I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend. All right. <laughs>